What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we got a new game that's come out from the Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator developers called Black Masses, which is kind of an open world mass zombie combat RPG. And honestly, that gets me a little bit titillated, so let's jump in and play offline and just kind of see what happens with this whole thing. My expectation is that they were probably messing around with the technology from Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator in order to make something like this that would actually run at a decent rate. And so this is a game that can like have literally like a thousand zombies on screen at once while you're in first person trying to fight back from some of the screenshots that I've seen. And so it's definitely got me a little bit interested. Let's see how this whole thing goes. I have no idea what's going to be a tale. This is brand new. This has not been seen before. They've released like nothing on this. This is the first demo. So I think it's going to be a good time. Let's give it a try and find out. So a few questions. Why am I in a creepy hobbit basement? Second question. Where are my legs when I'm laying in bed? I fear to have lost those. Apparently only my head was tired. My body was good. Wake up. Like so many games before. We will arise slowly. Take a look around. Apparently I've been chosen. By who or what? I don't know. But that's pretty rad. I like being chosen. Ugh, that doesn't look... Oh, that's got to be itchy. Like, for some reason, deep down, I just want to scratch that. Like, I just want to itch it, like, really, really badly. Ugh. We got a nasty case of ringworm on our hand. Okay, so having a look around. Some books, some scrolls, some other little stuff laying on the ground. We don't have any abilities right now. Doesn't look like we can attack or fight or do anything else just yet. Uh, I'd really prefer not to something isn't right scavenge for supplies. Yeah, I would say that... Hey, that's a knife right there. Can I have that? Open the journal to view your objectives. Okay, how do I open my journal? So find a health potion, find a weapon, and make your way down the road. All right, sounds good. I think we can make that happen. Mm, dead guys. So it appears as though we've had some kind of outbreak. That would make sense, knowing that this is a zombie game, that there had to be some level of precursor. Door is locked. Ankler Bay storage. Okay, so we can't get inside of there right now. Can't go down the well. What about this building right here? Door is locked to the cane house. Okay. Maybe there's an upstairs door that's unlocked? I think we should give it a try. Yeah, let's jump up here. Can I use that shovel? Can I use that as a weapon? No. That's also locked. Okay, so we're not going to be able to do anything with that. It looks like maybe there's some kind of like grapple system. Oh yeah, there is. You can actually like jump around and stuff. So we got to find a health potion, we got to find a weapon, and we got to get further into this area. Another shovel right there. I feel like a shovel make a mighty fine weapon. Maybe I'm just being unreasonable. Can I loot the treasure chest? No. What is that? Action button to interact. August 17th, 1583. The ocean water has been strange for weeks now, and it's difficult to see anything. If this keeps up, we will have to fish at Mesra Bay. August 21st. Kane and I went out today. Kane swore he saw a woman's arms in the water, but I couldn't see anything with it being so murky. Seems pretty shaken up. I was out today with Hankel this time. For a moment, I saw something when bringing the net. It did look like an arm, but perhaps it was just nothing. I'm not sure what to think of it now. I know what I saw in the water, and I know... More than just an arm or two. I saw more than an arm or two. I've let Cyrus know. He'll notify everybody to stay out of the water. I also sent word to the Baron. Word to your Baron. What do we have in here? Anything worthwhile? No? Doesn't look like there's anything good in there. Can't take any of the books. Can I crouch? That's not a potion. Okay. Well, we still gotta find, like, a weapon and a way to defend ourselves. I don't know if this is like the door is locked. Oh, that little chest down there is interactable. Okay. So they've got kind of like a Skyrim vibe going on almost. What do we have in here? Nothing? Okay. Well, we'll keep looking around. What about on the shore over here? Maybe there'll be like a cutlass or something down here? Anything? Because everybody knows in a zombie apocalypse, you need to have like that 87 Cutlass Supreme. Otherwise, you're not going to make it out of it. It's a classic car for a classic situation. Well, we can't really get into this house, I don't think. It does look like maybe we can climb up over here. So hold space to initiate the jump, then forward. I don't think that's going to work from right there. I think we got to go around the back. 
Maybe. There you go. Perfect. All right, so we've made it up and over. Another shovel or maybe like one of those things that you put pizzas in an oven with. Mm, I'm kind of hungry right now. I'm down for some oven pizza. Uh, nothing inside that chest, but we did get XP for opening it up, so that's good. Our little meter's filling up, which is kind of nice. What's going on in here? Nothing inside that crate. So far, we're kind of like goose eggs on loot, aren't we? Nothing in there either. Some kind of recipe maybe or something over here? Nothing inside of there. We've got that. We've got a health potion. We've got... I don't know what this other stuff is. What do we have? We have a stamina potion, a health potion, and a blessing potion. If you're looking at the menus right now, this is literally an alpha tech demo proof of concept for the game. So don't panic. This is all going to be redone in the future. For right now, the demo is free on Steam if you wanted to try it out for yourself. What do we have in here? Some snossages? I do love me some snossages. And some bread. Okay. Can live with that. We've got a key that goes to the other house, I think. More than likely. Is there fall damage? Not from that height. We're good. There we go. So we've made it into the cane house. And we've got that. Oh, you can open up every single drawer. I like that. That's immersive. I like it when you can open up every single drawer on an object. It pleases me. Uh, nothing inside of there for right now. Some bread. That torch looked like it might be a weapon for a second. What did we just pick up? What was that? We've got a repair hammer. It's got weight. Oh, it allows me to repair things. Okay. I mean, it is, after all, a repair hammer. We've got another thing over there. Another repair hammer. Dude, I was kind of hoping for a weapon. I'll be honest with you. There's two repair hammers right there. All right. Can I beat him to death with a sausage, maybe? I'm a little bit worried about what I can accomplish here with what I've got my hands on. Looks like there's an upstairs area, though, too, that we can get to. So we'll check that out in just a second. And we got this bottom drawer, another repair hammer, another potion, a bomb. Okay. Apparently we're packing on explosives right now. Oh, there's a dude that looks super dead. Some crossbow bolts. Okay, I can get down with that. Is there anything else hidden around? Dude, this music is kind of epic right now for me just going through crates and like slowly sifting through loot. Okay, so that comes out right there. We already came down this way. We got a third floor. I keep seeing something shiny over here, but... I think it's just light going off the feather. We've got an ore. Oh no, I hear zombies. So I can parry with the ore and I can attack with the ore. I've got a big attack and I've got a little attack. All right. There was nothing inside that crate right there. Some more crossbow bolts right there though, so that'll be useful. And then we got some more bombs, some more bombs. Where's this dude at? Did he wake up? Oh, it's this guy. You picked up a weapon. We can attack with it. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, just like deck this dude. There you go. I don't care how we do it. Just get rid of him. Animation's a little bit soft right now, but I assume that's something that'll be cleaned up as time goes along. So he's down. Now it wants me to go further into the forest. I don't know how I feel about that. How do I break out my grenades? Ah, like that right there. Gotcha. Okay, a little bit of a placeholder explosion animation right there. Quest isn't right. Okay, so find a safe place. What does find a safe place mean? Explore the nearest village, find a safe house. Okay. Well, let's continue walking on down the road. Okay. Well, I assume that this little path right here is going to lead somewhere. Yeah, there's a little house. We can go ahead and give that a look. We got another zombie. Oh, we got a couple of zombies out front. Don't exactly know how I want to deal with them just yet. I suppose I'll deal with them how I've dealt with everything so far by smacking them in the dome piece. Yeah, you got to put a little bit more oomph on this, bro. 
little bit more oomph on it. There you go. Put some weight behind it. Perfect. Sit him down. Can I loot the zombies? I can't loot the zombies. Okay. I was just wondering if I could run them pockets real fast. Get myself a few extra pieces of change. I don't know. Um. Oh, there's another couple of them in here. All right. Well, continue swinging away. Apparently, I've been smote. Which is always kind of a fun experience. I usually try not to get smote, but the game seems to be pushing me in that direction, so you know what? Let's just lean into it. Hey, we leveled up. Nice, dude. That music was super epic. Open your blessings menu to assign skill points. All right. So there we go. We can have strength, which will give us fire strike. We can have agility, which we can sprint when our stamina is empty. We can regenerate stamina while in combat, and then we've got survival. Currently does nothing, but you can pay the point toll to the blessing to pass. Okay. Uh, let's go with Fire Strike, I guess. Sounds pretty rad. Yeah, apply the changes. I just want to hit harder, so our ability is Fire Strike. I don't know how we use that. Oh, it's our right hand ability, and that eats up our mana. Okay, so there's going to be magic involved with this game. That looked like rotten meat. I don't know if I want it. We got any, like, casks or, like, small chests around here that I can fiddle around with? I'll take the Blessing Potion for sure. A few more darts or arrows or whatever those are. I don't think we found a weapon that can use that just yet. Got a bone. What does this say? Eliphas, when you get back from Frey Manor, grab the rest of our staff in the barrack storage and head to Fort Wyver. Me and Elsa will meet you there. Everyone in Strathsire is possessed now. Except for maybe the Preacher, but I haven't the guts to go back there. Stay off the roads. They're sure to start swarming. Or roaming. Okay. A few more arrows inside of there. Repair hammer. Probably be helpful. I got a feeling this ore ain't gonna last forever, so... A little bit more bread, too. I think when we leveled up, it healed our damage, so I don't really need to worry too much about using healing items. Got a sextant over there. That opens downwards. I think I can see an item right there. Hopefully there's nothing required for a quest inside of there. I think it's supposed to open the other way, but it doesn't. Uh, we'll get that potion right there. Okay. I think we've just about hit up this house. I don't think there's a whole lot left unless there's something hiding on the roof. I don't know how many like doodads and random things are trying to hide around the map. Could be a lot, could be a little. Few more Zeds over here. I'll be honest, there's a concerning number of these guys. Three is a few too many. Yeah, you can come over here, I guess. I'm going to give you a little bit of a beat down, not because I feel any particular emotion towards you, but just simply because you're a zombie and I'm a human. It just seems like we can't have a friendly relationship. Oh, there are health bars at the top of the screen. That's pretty sweet. Okay. I do want to test out that fire strike. Will you combo? Oh, he does. He combos. Nice. Okay, so we can kind of just hack and slash. So it's a little bit Diablo-esque. All right. A little bit more XP for the pile. I don't see anything over here in the ruined cart that looks useful. I don't know. Let's continue on down the road and hope for the best. I do want to get a chance to use this fire strike before too long. Hey, you. We got issues, bruh, bruh. We got issues. I'm going to hack my way through you one way or another. Hopefully we find a better weapon around somewhere. This does not seem to be getting it done. Ah, dumbass zombie can't get around a stone wall. That's what you get. That's what you get against the inherent might of humans. All right, so that one's dead. What else do we have going on here? Oh, not good. I like the slower ones. The slower ones make my life easy. The faster ones are the ones you got to worry about. Yeah, let's go up the hill. Let's see what's going on. I see a village up here, so like maybe we'll be able to pull something out of this. Get ourselves like an extra, like a sword or like an axe or like some kind of armor. I don't know, but anything would be helpful. I do like the blood spatter that gets on the ore and on your hands and whatnot. For a tech demo, it does actually run pretty smoothly. I know the animations are a little bit jank, 
But aside from that, it's actually running reasonably well. We haven't seen any of the giant masses of zombies yet where there's like hundreds of them, but I'm sure we'll get there. You, my long-armed friend, get out of the way. There we go. Nobody's seen us over on that side just yet. Oh, she's fast. Luckily, she's a little stuck, so we might be able to do something with that. Just keep swinging. Just keep going, dude. Perfect. If we can get another level up, that'd be great. It's inside this house. Potion. Nothing inside of there. Okay, that chesticle is empty. Got a little bit of bread right there, though. Kind of wondering how we use the darts. Like, we're finding darts, like, all over the place, so I'm kind of curious how those all function. I'm going to leave the doors open on the places that I've already canvassed. I wonder if they can get through doors. Sort of curious about that. Word is spreading that they found something in the Zervadian or mines. Some ancient shrines and scribblings look like a tomb. They also said that there was this fountain with some dark liquid, a new element possibly. The island will have travelers from all over the world soon. That's what I was able to find out while I was in Lion's Ridge. I'll send word when I find out more. Take care. Okay. So apparently they found some kind of devil shrine. And being typical humans, we decided to open it on up without thinking and just start feeding it to people and being like, It's a food source! It's the food source of the gods! Looks like we regenerate health, so that's good. Nothing too sexy just yet. Like, I was really hoping we could pick up this pickaxe right here and use that. Put a little bit of damage out on some of these guys. Sounds like we have friends out here. Where are they at? There's a bunch of goodies inside of there. Yeah, I'll take all of it. I don't think we need to go up there. I think we're good. What about this big building right here, this manor? Is there anything inside of here? Sounds like it. Definitely hear the sound of something unpleasant. Can't take the knife. There's no, like, swords or anything near this big table. I guess that doesn't open. I think it might be bugged. Another repair hammer. Definitely take that. I hear the telltale sounds of our little Zeddy friends. What are those, bullets? Okay. Maybe we'll be able to pick up, like, a musket or, like, a flintlock or something, dude. We'll be, like, a pirate out here. Like, yar, back and away with ye, ye zombie scum, before I catch ye with me hot steel. Oh, dude, I think my ore is hitting the wall. Yeah, it is. Gotta find an angle on that, dude. We took a little bit of damage right there. Can I use the apple? Oh, I've got the bone, too. I can use a femur. I can eat an apple like that. Okay. So you press the Q key to eat things, and then you can press the Z key to change what your active consumable is in the bottom right corner. I was just, like, fiddling with stuff and found it. Repair hammer. Bomb. Can't break that. Yeah, it's probably not good. Oh, wow, this is so much faster. Yeah, let's just use the bone. The bone sounds good. We will beat them to death with one of their constituent parts. There's a lot of you guys in here, huh? I'm going to stay moving the best I can. This thing uses a lot of stamina, though. We managed to level up, so that's a positive change. I don't really know where the rest of them are. Eat an apple real fast. I guess apples don't do anything for stamina. 
We'll just have to get stamina back while we're looting for right now. Repair hammer and something right there. I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. But I do want to test out that fire strike on somebody. Maybe I'll just close that door to make us a little bit more safer right now. Uh, Yakel, I'm coming to get you. So pack what you absolutely need. We're leaving the island. We'll make for the pass into Brisby Bay. I'll be there in two days' time, Bernard. Okay. God, that scared me, dude. Oh, it knocks them down. That's nice. So you can use that as a bit of crowd control if you get surrounded. Not a terrible idea, I think. There we go. We've knocked them down. I like how the music is. The music is very lamenting. I like it. It makes it feel sad and kind of all hope is lost, I guess. Then again, in a situation like this, I think it'd be hard to make an argument that there's any hope left, too. Some more bullets right there. I wonder if we're going to find a gun in here. They've been sprinkling bullets around like crazy. Don't see much else in the kitchen. Was there a hole in the floor over here? I feel like I saw a hole in the floor, but I guess not. The rest of them must be upstairs. Grindstone right there. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to use the grindstone for anything just yet. We came in through this way. But there is an extra door right here. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Alright, find a doorway. There you go, perfect. Just find a doorway and block them in. Yep, fight through the fatal funnel. That's all we can do. It's kind of dark, can't really see, but it's gonna have to work for us. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust, okay. Wish we had a light source, I can't see. Annabelle was watching, so I had to hide it in a barrel upstairs. Okay, so maybe that's the gun. Possibly, so that we'll have ourselves a little bit of a bang stick. So there's something right there, but I'm not seeing exactly what. It's just so dark. Dude, that moaning and groaning is like super unnerving. Like, I hate everything about that. Just like the thought of being trapped in a room while that racket is going on like 24 hours a day. It's just like it would grate on your sanity, dude. It would drive you a little bit nutty. She said she hid it in a barrel upstairs. Then again, there's a lot more upstairs left to go. Oh my god, there's another one. Die! I command you in God's name! You're moaning an awful lot right now for someone inside of crusading distance. That's all I'm saying. You are obviously a minion of the darkness. And you will be expunged by the light and grace of our Lord Christ. I've decided my character is a stereotypical crusader. Perhaps even a Templar. That's what I've decided. I'm getting into it. We're role-playing right now. You can decide what you want your character's background to be all on your own. Maybe you could make him a Viking. You know what I mean? Like, whatever you think is the right backstory. A Saracen, perhaps? Whatever you think is the right backstory. You know, maybe a member of the Pictish Horde. Eh, nothing down in there. I don't know where this presumable barrel is that they say that we've got treasure inside of. Oh my god, it's so dark. Please die. Please die. I just want you to die. I can't see. I can't see, and it's extra strength spooky right now. Go away. Stop that. Yep, just die for your die for your die for your splatter cat. Die for your splatter cat, dude. All right, so... So dark. If there was a barrel back here, I don't know how we'd see it. There's a bomb right there. It's definitely quite dark. There's barrels over here.
Yeah, I definitely need like a torch or like a match or something that I can light. That looks kind of like a barrel. Who can say for now? Must have been in a hurry to leave without this crossbow. That's odd of Brinley to do something like that. No matter, perhaps he's gone for... Gone for loan? Long? I'll hide it under the bed till he gets back. Ooh, crossbow! And a sword! Oh, dude, we got options now. Okay. Alright. Alright. I have 65 crossbow bolts. Where's the sword at? A rusty sword. Nice, dude. It's kind of beat to hell and back, but I'm glad we grabbed something good out of here. I'm feeling like we're moving on up in the world. Uh, this is Black Masses. The next game by the un... Uh, I'm sorry. The new game by the uh, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator developers. So there you go. Uh, if you didn't like that game, this is much more of a traditional game instead of just like a battle simulator in between two sides. So definitely keep an eye on this one. Oh, it slices them up good. Okay, we got the sword now. But anyways, take a look at the screenshots for this game. There are a nutty amount of zombies in some of the screenshots where it definitely seems like a deadly situation to be in. So absolutely check that on out. This is the first... The absolute first alpha tech demo of the game, just as like a proof of concept to kind of get people interested and hype. You can download it for free right now at the link that I'll leave you down below. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, make sure you leave a like on the video. It lets me know that, hey, maybe I should record some extra content. Aside from that, though, I'll have something hot and fresh for you all tomorrow. Thank you for stopping on in and take care, everybody.